Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. We're looking at a game today called First Feudal. Seeing some people describe this as a cross between RimWorld and a village building simulator. So we're going to do a new game. We're going to call this the Dynasty of Shirley Rocks. If I can even spell my own name. Yes, that's right. Go ahead and all defaults for all this. You can also hold the different parameters like the amount of forest, the amount of mountains. So I might actually do a bit more forest, actually. Um, frequency of livestock appearance, frequency of farm appearance, frequency of attacks. I might actually lower the attacks because I have been a super noob at this and I want to show you a bit more of the game. I'm not going to do like a series on this just now. I'm just showing you some of the game. So hopefully you can see more of the game. OK, so we're going to do a new game. And you will then see this. Whoa, look at the animals spawning. You'll see the game spawn like this. Now, this is me. This is Shirley Rocks. And you run around like this. Uh, let's see what we can talk about. Right, these trees. These are animals. That's pumpkins. These are mountains. They produce stone. Uh, that's stone by the water. Uh, if you take a little looky down here, right, I've got these colour bars, so quite explanatory. We've got green, health, we've got blue, stamina. Stamina goes down when you start doing stuff like running. There you go. Uh, you've also got your vigour. Now, vigour is your, um, it's like tiredness. So once you start doing activities, you start using it up uh, and it doesn't go back up until you sleep, whereas stamina does go back up. And Sati, sat, Sati, I can't even pronounce that. Hunger. We're gonna, we're gonna call it hunger. I'm not even gonna. I can't even pronounce that word. So we're gonna call that hunger. So you can replace that by food. So first of all, we need to do a um, town square. So press B, click on that. We need an open space to stick it in. Um, are these animals all in the way? I'm gonna stick it down here because it's near. It's near the. Um, near the mountains and all the other stuff. I think it needs to be near a path as well. So here we go. So you do start off with a few items, start off with some pumpkin pie, oh, boiled pumpkin, some steaks, uh, a couple of axes, pitchfork, scythe, hammer, and a pick. Okay, so let's go to the tutorial and see what's what. So press J to bring that up. So the first thing to do is build a square. We've done that. Now we need to open the controls tip. Okay, that just explains how to move around. We're wasada. Um, scale can be changed with mouse wheel. Left shift makes you run, and Q switches between your weapons. So if we do continue on that, you can see I have got a weapon there, and I press Q. So I've got um, what have I got? Let's press I and C. I've got an axe and a club. So an axe is for chopping trees down. So if I run up to a tree, let's see, here's a tree. If I start whacking this, you'll notice me standing at the bottom starts going down. There you go. Come on. Chop. Chop. I should get a piece of wood out of this, hopefully. There you go. So I've got a piece of wood. And then you need to run back to the main town thing here. This is where all the items go. You see I've got a piece of wood. Stick that in there. Okay, right. That's that one done. Let's press J again. Let's get a reward. If we do this, we get a copper sword. Nice. Assign any profession to presents. Presents? Peasants. So these are all the peasants. I've got all two of them. So you go up to one, hold over them with the cursor, press E. And right now I'm limited to three professions. Warrior, woodcutter, and builder. So I'm going to have you as a woodcutter. So you'll notice he ran to there, took an axe, and then he's off. He's off doing stuff. I need, do need quite a lot of wood, so I'm going to have two woodcutters. Here we go. That ding means uh, quest is complete. So press J. And if we do this one now, we'll get a sleeping bag. We can, well, we can make a sleeping bag. So let's go and build this. Now this is where you, your people will sleep. Now everyone else is busy doing stuff, so I'm going to switch to my club and build this. You need to have the items in your inventory. So I've got 10 hide and 5 wool, which I have both of them. So we'll start hitting this. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Build it. Build it. Build that sleeping bag with a hammer. Yeah. I'm out of stamina, so now I can't actually do anything. I think that cow needs milking. Wait for the stamina to go back up a, a little bit. Come on. Come on. Gotta put this wool. Gotta get this nice stuffing in the sleeping bag. Nice. Now, these will automatically go to that when they uh, need to sleep, or as I can do it. If you look at my um, vigor, the purple thing at the bottom, if I hover over this, press E. I'll get in the bag, and you can see my vigor is now going up. 
Okay, we've just got a new peasant. Okay, you need to cancel sleeping. Click on that button. Okay. Now, we've not really got anyone to do anything at the moment, so... Uh, we're going to build a joiner's workbench. So, have we got any wood stored in here yet? One. So, these don't seem to be actually storing the wood. I don't know if they have, like, a limit of how much they, they, they store before they'll bring it back. So, I do need to build this workbench. So, if we go up here, if you press R, you can flip the buildings around. So, we're gonna, I'm just going to put it there near all of this. Can't put it on the square, but you can put it on the edge. Now, this needs 10 logs. Now, we've not got 10 logs. We've got one, one log. So, if we go over to this, whack it. Now, that's interesting. That says 10 logs. That's just used. Two logs. Right, if, if, we, if you're quick... Like a ninja. You can go over and get the uh, wood on these as the drop it, so you don't pick it up straight away. Let's try and get this, uh... Ah! Oh, beat me. Can we get it from this one? Come on. Give me a word. Let's go and put it down while we're waiting. It must use less wood than it says. Right, he's got to drop a piece of wood, hasn't he? Come on. Give, give, give me your wood. There you go. Thank you. All right, this one's due next. Right, let's run, run. Oh, you sucker. Can you actually trade with them? Can I trade with you and say, give me your wood? I could actually switch him out, I guess, to the building profession, but I don't know if I'll lose the um, the, the character trait for that. Well, like the weapon. Right, for quick, come on. For quick. There you go. They're not very good at dropping this wood. Right, let's have a little look. Have we got any of Oh, nice. So they must drop a full stack. There we go. Now, you do need to have your wood in your inventory. Otherwise, you can't use it. So we'll go over there. Bash, bash, bash. Nice. Now, we need to make a plank. So if we ho hover over it and press E. We've got recipes. We've got sticks. We've got planks. And we've got wooden bowls. I want to make a plank. Because that's all I need for this quest. Now, I could assign these to do it, but I'm letting them sleep and do their other stuff at the moment. Okay. Get a reward. Right, next up we have a uh, kitchen. So, we need to get 10 stones for this and build a kitchen. Mm. So, we need to do this so we can get food. So, the easiest way i found, you can either go and hit the mountain or you can get the stones from these bits. So, if I bash these with my um, club, here we go. You will see eventually. There you go. Stone dropping off. Nice. Now, how much stone do we get then? Six pieces. It's not bad. We need ten. I'm going to keep checking this. Uh, I've got seven. Need three more pieces. So let me stamina go up a little bit. Now, it is quite slow and laborious, a lot of this, but you can actually speed it up, though, which is good. Oh, nice. That was a good... That, that made it rain stone. Uh, we've got 12 chunks now. Okay. Go back to here. Right, so we need a new... We need a cooking um, area now. So, I might try and do the farms and that down here or over here. Right, so if we select build. Uh, this is the kitchen. If we stick that there. So, we need 8 wood and 10 stone. So, we need some more planks. Let's have a little look. I need some more wood then. Oh, why am I wasting that? As you can see, these woodcutters are busy, busy, busy. Hover over this, get some more planks. Now, the interesting thing, this is, it's, it's a bit like you can do this in RimWorld. You can do craft infinite, craft until you've made a certain amount, or just single craft. I'm just doing infinite because I'm only carrying the amount of wood I need. This also uses stamina. So if you look at the stamina, it does use stamina to make these uh, items. Okay, how many have we got now? We've got 15. Yeah, that's more than enough. Right, let's go and um, build this. Okay. Uh, uh, ah, e, that's the sound of Ikea. Go on, build it. Put the stone in. Oh, we're out of materials. Come on. I just want to build this myself. I, I will automate it and get the rest of some building stuff, but... There seems to be a lot of points at the moment. Is 
Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, one short. Ding! Right, we've built a kitchen now. Excellent, eh? Let's get a reward. We're going to get pumpkin seeds, grape seeds, and wheat for this. Cool. Okay, next up we have food. So, we've already got one of them. Get pumpkin or wheat. Kill a cow or sheep. Make stew or porridge. Hmm. Okay, so let's go. What should we go and kill? Uh, kill a cow or a sheep. Right, how many cows have we got? We've got quite a few cows. I think the symbol above the head means if they're male or female, so... Let's... <laughs> let's switch to the stabby stabby. Is that better? Come on. There you go. And we've got hide off that. And we've also got some meat off that. My inventory is actually full at the moment, so we do need to come over here. And start dumping some of this stuff. So let's get rid of... What have we got there? Grape seeds. Let's get rid of the stone. And the planks. Come back over here. Let's collect all our lovely loot. Okay, so we've done a little portion of that uh, objective now. So we now need to make stew or porridge. So if we go over to the kitchen and interact with it. What's that on the floor? What did I just pick up? Oh, pumpkin seeds. That was from the quest before. Right, we need to make stew or porridge. So if we look at stew, it's boiled pumpkin and raw meat. And porridge is raw. No, that's not porridge. There's porridge. Porridge is wheat. Okay, let's just make wheat. Um, I think a porridge because we've got a lot of that. Well, we've got wheat. There we go. Making some porridge. Look at our inventory now. Now our inventory is actually full because we've not got space for the porridge. So, yeah, that's a pro tip. Don't be sticking stuff in there. You're not got a space for it. Okay, let's go back and pick up our porridge. There we go. Quest complete. Ding a ling a ling. And let's dump this. So if we get the reward for this, we're going to get 150 points of science. Nice. Now, there is a science task here. Research any science. So for the for the development of science, it's necessary to create buildings, things, and equipment that are accessible with the with it with the help of science. So if we look at the science tab. So how do I actually open a science tab? Um, because it's it's when you research stuff, you can then do new items and stuff I'm trying to find a science tab uh that is not the science tab let me have a little look um let me look at the main controls there is a shortcut to bring up science I'm pretty sure there is h I knew there was. Right, so this is the science tab. So you start off, you've only got the uh, woodworking. Then you can research that way into washing and soaking, which gives you things like leather, rope, fiber. You can go that way, which gives you the ability to do houses. We can do stone processing, which gives us quarries. Uh, we can unlock uh, copper. We can unlock uh, beds. So there is quite a few things. Now, this thing here, I've got 143 already. So... For the next task, I do need to research uh, research any science. So let's see. If we get this one now, we're going to get science experience. Let's see if it automatically unlocks the science one. No, no, it didn't. Uh, boo. Right, let's go bring this back up then. So we do need... I think we need to keep on making stuff to um, get this unlocked. It's not very descriptive what you need to do. It just says... Create buildings, things, and equipment that are accessible with the help of this science. Well, the only thing I can do at the moment is this. So, I'm thinking it means if I make wooden sticks, planks, and wooden bowls, I, I should be able to unlock it, right? So, we're on 143 at the moment. So, let's go and grab some uh, materials. Let's dump some of this other stuff. We don't need it. Uh, there is a few things I've seen in here. So we need to take some planks. Okay, and go to the carving bench. Now, we were on 143 signs before, if you remember. So, I've not got any sticks yet. So let's make... Let's just make, say, five 
five sticks. Um, there you go. And bowls. I've not got any of those yet. I don't know what use they are, but we're going to try and make five of them. Can we do mul Can we do multi crafting? I guess not. What do we need to make bowls then? Um. Oh, we need logs for bowls. That's why we're not making any. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's why we're not making any logs because we've not got any. Oh, we have. Why is this built on a web of lies? Let's see if we can make some bowls again. That's interesting. I don't know why I can't build bowls. Right, let's get rid of all this. I'm getting confused. Right, bowls. Oh, we need pl planks for bowls. What on earth? Why do we need planks for bowls? I've only got seven... Um, I've only got seven uh, planks at the moment. So let's throw the sticks in. Quickly bring up science as well. We're on 143 before, don't forget. 179, nice. Right, so this this is going to be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, let's grab a load of uh, wooden planks. Okay, we're going to make a load of um, these. So let's make a load of planks. This should get our experience up. Not enough free space. Ah, interesting. So we're not going to free space. Oh, that's in my inventory. So let's get rid of the sticks. Uh, yep. Yep. There you go. That should be enough space now. We'll make me some more planks. Okay, so I've got a lot of villagers at the moment not doing anything, but I don't particularly want to assign them... Um, the tasks until I know what I'm doing with the game, so they're gonna have to wait a little bit. Right, we're running out of space again. Let's get rid of some of these. Now, if you look at my uh, levels as well, I'm starting to get a little bit tired, so I do need to uh, sleep a little bit. Um, I've done a few of these objectives though, so. Oh no, we've got farming and we've got tools. So as you can see, busy, busy at the moment. Um, let's have a look at H and see how we're getting on with this. 227, right, I need to sleep, so let's sleep. My food gauge is getting pretty low as well, so we are going to need to get a little bit of uh, food in a little while. Lioness the woodcutter has nowhere to sleep. I feel you, buddy. Gonna go and get a bit of chow in a minute. Now you can actually speed this up with the control keys at the bottom, F1 to F4, so I'm gonna crank this up. I'm gonna speed this up until my um, hunger levels get really low. So, it's really slow getting this back actually. As you can see, I'm just watching the gauge down here. We're on 60 at the moment. 70. 80. Oh, we're nearly on 100. I believe. We're nearly there. Nice. Get out of bed. There you go. Shift change. Right, so let's open this up and get a bit of food. Okay. Bring the inventory up with I. And then you hover over the food. Now, if you look at me vigor down here, I'm on one. If you right click on it, nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nice. Okay, let's go back to making uh, more of these planks. Should I make some bowls now? Maybe bowls do more XP per thing, I don't know. Let's press H and C. So, it's 227. Let's make a singular bowl. Can we make a singular bowl, or do you only make them in batches? Um, you can do craft until X. Weird, let's try. Must be stacks of five. Right, I'll make a few of these. These have got to be better experience, haven't they? Let's have a little look. What are we on now? 
248. Ah, oh, this is taking forever. Right. We can make um, lots of the planks. These do seem quite useful, though. So I think I'm going to... Let's get all of the wood. We're out of space again. Let's get rid of the bowls. These seem to stack up quite nicely. Stack a tent. There you go. So basically, I just need to keep doing this until I've uh, got enough stuff. Got enough XP for that science uh, trait. A little bit boring. Let's speed this up. Making all of the planks. Okay. Are we close at all? Come on. 290. Okay. I think we're probably out of... Are we out of space? Oh, we're out of wood. We have got an obscene amount of planks there. We could swap these out with uh, some of the bowls, I guess. I don't know if you can trade these or not, though. It'd be good if you could. I should do two. Ooh. The new science is available for researching. Excellent, eh? Press H. So... We can now go into washing and soaking, stone or wooden house. Hmm, I've quite fancy going for stone and getting a house on the go. We don't really need an awful lot of stone at the moment, so let's research that. Okay, quest done. So that's the science one done. Now if we do, uh, let's get rid of wood, we'll get a one point of intelligence. Hmm, okay, so we've got, we need food. So we're going to need to plant a farm. Okay, so how do we do this then? So, farm. We need to plant a farm and tame animals. A pair of animals with different gender and the same type will periodically give offspring. To domesticate animals, it's necessary to research the science of taming animals. Ah, oh, well, this is not going to be an easy one to do, is it? So where's taming animals on here? Um, let's have a little look. Oh, so the production equipment supply. I see. Wow. Taming of animals is... I don't know where it is. Maybe it's one of these low ones. So that's all like food and stuff. I can't see taming of animals on here as a skill though. Hmm, we should be able to do the wooden house now though. So let's bring up build and see what have we got that's new on here. So we've got decor, wooden wall, wooden door, wooden floor. Nice. Oh, we can make chests as well. If we've got planks, I forgot about that. 12 planks, so we've got enough to make one chest. So if we go over here to build, we can stick a chest down just over here. And let's get someone building it. Let's get a builder. Let's let's get somebody else doing the job for us. Okay, I need more food. I appear to be dying. Eat that food. There you go. Okay, so chest is built now. And you'll see people are starting to store stuff in it. Let's try and automate this. Can I? I don't think I can do farming yet. If I assign you as a farmer, what do you do? So he's going off. What's he doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's collecting the resources for me. That will be quite useful, actually. I think we'll probably need a few more chests. Um, let's go and get a few more chests built over here. Let's do two. Okay, Mr. Builder, wherever you are, we'll hopefully go and build that. Do need some more planks, though, so... I guess I'm going to have to do this. I think the woodcutter's actually asleep at the moment. Uh, we want to transfer the planks over here. So then the builder will come, take the planks, and do his business. Let's quickly build some planks. I say quickly. It's not quickly unless you press F4. There you go. Should have a nice little uh, stack of planks now. Nice, I've got all my chests there now. Let's stick all these chests back in here for the general population to use. Got all these bowls as well. I really don't know what use they are. 
Okay. Let's go look look at the uh, journal. So there's a few things we need to do. There's also, we, we've, got, we've got to do things like tools. So we're going to make a workbench. We're going to increase the settlement size to 10 inhabitants. Um, but that means we need to make people happy. Which means we need to build decor elements and eat good food. Um, and then there's also the quarry task. So there's various bits and pieces we need to do. So let's go ahead and try and build this next production thing. So workbench for tools. Let's go on and try and build that. Is there anything else we can build that's going to help us? Light armor and weapons. I don't think I need those just yet. We have got all the uh, things here though. Uh, walls and doors. So how how big a house can we build? And does it need to be near the road? That's what I want to know. Um, I don't know if it needs to be near the road or not. Right, yeah. Can I can I shift copy this? Let's just try and do a small small room. Right. There must be a way of cloning things. Now, I can actually, let's see if I can select someone to do uh, automated tasks. There is an artisan task, which I believe is um, production. Let's see if I assign you to that. Are you going to make uh, planks? Nope. <laughs> You're not. There is wood in here, though. So you could be making. You could be making stuff. You're just choosing not to. Right, let's make the... Um, We've actually made the workbench now, so we do need to make a bunch of tools. Uh, let us have a little look. So, what tools do we need to make? We need to make five of any tools. Okay, what's the what's the easiest to make then? So we've got we've got wooden sticks. So if we go and get a load of stone, we can make some of these these things. Um, how many wooden sticks have we actually got? We've not got any wooden sticks. Are they been moved to the chest, maybe? I definitely made wooden sticks. I remember it. Now, where have my wooden sticks gone? Now, that's weird. I definitely remember making wooden sticks. Right, I'm going to go and collect some stone anyway. Let me try and make some uh, tools. Oh, now, I think you can get stone from the mountains. So let's give that a little go. Switch to our club. And bash. Are we getting stone off this? Hmm. I don't know if I'm even getting stone off that. I'm under attack. Oh, dear. Right. Let's go over here. Can we assign anyone to work a stroke hunter? Are you going to defend my honor? I'm under attack by something. Where am I under attack? Over here. There's something red over here on the left. Come on. If I can even get over there and help. Here we go. Whoa, he's got a bow. Get away from me. He's kiting me. Come on. Come on, taste my steel. Taste my steel. And he's killed me. <laughs> ah, so that, I can't, I can't believe you just killed me. So that is first feudal. That's the first little look at it. You can see the basics of the game. It does look like it, it would take like a bit of a longer series to sort of show off. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of this on the channel, I think it's a pretty fun game. Uh, pretty, pretty hard, but it's probably me being new at the game at the start. So yeah, probably gets easy as you go along. And you know, maybe if I'd uh, given that sword to one of my other guys and assigned him to do uh, soldiering, I might not have died. Anyway, that's it for now. This is my first, first feudal gameplay video. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.